Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. You want the latest news in the streets? Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Good morning, tea sippers. I hope you guys are doing good. So we have some breaking news. And what's crazy is that one of my tea sippers in Canada told me about it this morning. Um, they ended up leaving a comment and I happened to see it. So this is what they wrote. They said, y'all, it's breaking news here in Toronto, just now 8.30 a.m. There's an investigation going on at Drake's mega mansion. No details yet as to what it's about, but there was a shooting overnight in the vicinity. Y'all, this is getting deep. Coincidence. Bet BBL Drizzy severely regrets poking the bear and begs him to come outside and respond. So... That was one of my Canadian tea sippers. So they had that tea early, early this morning. So I was trying to Google and wait. Then I finally saw it pop up on one news story. And now it's finally come to America. So what's being reported is this. They're saying Drake's Toronto home was taped off Tuesday morning after a shooting. According to reports, the shooting took place outside of Drake's house after 2 a.m. Um, they're also saying that a man was transported to the hospital with serious injuries and the suspect fled the scene in a vehicle, according to social media posts by police. And they're saying um, that a rep for Drake did not immediately respond. So y'all can go ahead and check out this video as well. They're also talking about the shooting. 8.58 here on BT. We begin with breaking news following a developing story out of Toronto where police confirmed that they are investigating an overnight shooting outside of the home of rapper Drake. He Here's a live look this morning at the scene. This is outside 21 Park Lane Circle in North York, well known to be the home of the Toronto-born rapper. Details are still very limited at this point, but police confirmed that they were called to the home around 2 o'clock this morning after reports of a shooting. One man was rushed to hospital with serious injuries. Police have confirmed to City News that the victim is not Drake. You can see a ton of police tape as well in this area. Evidence markers as well laid out on the ground. And this is a look from our chopper as well at the home from above. You can see that there is police tape as well surrounding the front door of the property. We know that there was a suspect who fled in a vehicle, but so far there is no description available of that suspect. Our Karen Seolan is headed to the scene this hour. Stay with us here on BT as we continue to follow this developing situation. All right, so you guys just saw those news clips. So again, something is definitely going on. Um, a lot of people are saying, you know, Drake's a master manipulator. Um, you know, this is probably a setup. Other folks are saying that, you know, his home is probably being raided for other things. So I don't know what all is going on, but, you know, I'm glad he's okay. Cause again, we don't want this rap beef to come off wax. So I'm not really sure of all the details, but I'm sure more information will be coming out. And as more information comes out, I'll definitely keep you guys posted. But now this is another crazy thing. When I was first initially investigating what was going on that my tea sipper told me, there was another shooting that was not too, too far from that area. So the police were also investigating another shooting overnight. And this happened in Toronto's Oakwood Village neighborhood. And it was a double shooting, and unfortunately, the man who was 30 years old, he ended up dying from his life-threatening injuries. But the woman, um, she was shot, and she only suffered minor injuries. So they're trying to see if that may tie in to what happened at Drake's, because this happened around 1, and then around 2 a.m., Drake's house or you know his vicinity was shot up. <laughs> Okay, more breaking news this morning here on CB24 Breakfast. This from the Bridal Path area, where a police investigation is underway at Drake's home. Chopper 24 is above the scene this morning. It shows the street shut down just outside of 21 Park Lane Circle. That property belongs to the rapper. Crime scene tape can not only be seen outside, but also in the front courtyard driveway of Drake's home. It's not clear at this point 
what the nature of the investigation is. It's also unclear if this is connected to an overnight shooting that police have told us about in the uh, area where shots rang out. This is in the Bayview and Lawrence Avenue area, which is in the sort of general area of Drake's home. So this is just after two o'clock this morning. In this case, one person taken to hospital with serious injuries. Investigators say the suspects left the area in a vehicle. Once again, no official word from police if there is a connection. We are working on that. We have our Courtney Hills making her way now to this scene. Again, Drake's home. Police investigating will have much more throughout the morning mm -hmm. here. It's getting crazy out there in Canada. But let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Let me know your thoughts on all of this information that's breaking news concerning Drake and what happened at his Toronto mansion. I look forward to reading y'all's comments down below, and I'll talk to y'all later. Deuces. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us sentiment for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.